to be doing a little bit of a negative video. So every month I come on here and give you guys a favorites video or the favorite products I've been loving and just all positive and good vibes. Products that rocked in that month and sometimes there are some products that just don't make the cut that just eh. <laughs> I don't have many of these videos but sometimes there's products out there that just eh. Okay, maybe not that harsh. So I'm gonna showcase some products today that I didn't really feel that hard. One thing to note though is something that works for me might not work for you, vice versa. You might love these products, you might hate the products I love. That's just what makes the beauty world go round and any other situation in life, right? If we all like the same things, like so boring. Okay, let's just begin. I love Lush. You guys know like Lush is one of my favorite brands, but this I gave it like a week and Hell no. So my boyfriend's mom was like, you have to try Lush deodorants. Like they're the best. I saw this powder and I said, oh, that smells so good. Really, I don't even know, like earthy, like pine almost. Like a Christmas tree. So I said, yeah, like that'd be such a good scent, you know? But as you can see, like when you open this, watch this like poof. Oh, see, I don't know if you caught that. When you open it, you gotta be like, ah, like get out of the way. She's a dusty one. That was kind of like my first red flag. When you open it, it like spurts out everywhere and you're like, okay, but no problem. So the problem with this for me was you sprinkle, okay, how to use it even says how, so I'm not using it wrong. Sprinkle into your palm and dust under your armpits and feet too, rubbing in gently with your fingertips. So I'm like, hey, that's so cool. A lot of deodorants have so many chemicals and just like, I don't want it. Eh. <laughs> I thought this was perfect because Lush, you know, they're, they're really good with those kinds of things. So ugh. now the first thing that I was like, I even said to the guy because we were picking out some things. It's like a black char it's like charcoal. Govern body odor and stay fresh with this hardworking absorbent charcoal powder. Now my ass is like charcoal powder. Like I, I picture myself like in a fireplace. Is, it, is there charcoal in a fireplace or is that just soot? This reminded me of soot, like Santa Claus, like coming down the chimney and like plopping down. I picture like his suit and the white part, the fluffy part of his suit getting like black with charcoal or soot. So that's just what I think. And I'm like trying to ask the guy without being like, Does, is this Santa Claus stuff? And he's like, oh no, like it won't stain your clothes. It won't stain you at all. Ah, wrong, wrong. I sprinkle a little onto my fingertips after I avoid the poof, put a little bit on. I didn't add a lot, just took a little bit. Immediately my armpits were like black. Like, okay, well not black. Let's say, like they were very dark. Like it looked like I hadn't shaved my armpits for a while, you know what I mean, from like far away. It did wash away when I would um, go in the shower and bath and stuff, it would wash away. But one time I was like, you know what, I'm gonna wear a light colored shirt because people wear light colored shirts. It doesn't say you can't, the guy told me I could. So I wore a light colored shirt that I didn't really care much about and it stained it. It did wash out in the wash though, but still like there was like dark stains under here and I'm like, Ugh. I'm not a sweaty girl, like bless. Like, thank you mom, thank you dad, I love you. I mean, they made me a really hairy girl, but I really just, I don't sweat. When I put this on, I just started sweating. Like, I'm like, oh my God, I'm going into like menopause a little early. Like I was just sweating and I stank. My boyfriend even said like, oh, like what's that smell? I was sweaty under here, like sticky. And I don't ever feel like that. So stain my clothes, stain my pits, but not like, I shouldn't say stain. I should just say maybe change the color. And then when I wash it, it would go away. Made me stinky, made me sweaty. I just, no, like I am not a fan of this at all. So this is the governor. I didn't even tell you what it was called. It's called the governor. And I don't know, maybe there's other good lush products for deodorants, but this one did not do it to me. If you guys can recommend something from lush that's good for deodorant, then maybe I'll try that. But this just was a no go. Okay. Um, this hurts me to say this because I wanted to like these so bad. The Kylie highlights. Mm. So when I first got them, I did a whole video on them. I'll leave that link down below if you case you want to see my review. When I got them, I was like, oh my God, they're so good. Like, oh, I love them because they're like my first impressions. The packaging, slay. The best packaging I think Kylie's come out with. Honestly, like these are just beautiful colors. They do have a, a pretty decent size mirror in here. The packaging, it just looks so pretty to me. A lot of people didn't really dig the packaging. They thought it looked cheap, um, but I like it. I really enjoyed that. And when I first put them on my face, I was like, they're a little subtle, but bam, that highlight's good. 
I bought four of these and I don't even know where the other one is and I'm not even tripping about it. If you do work them, like if you put on, in my opinion, layers of them, then you'll get a highlight. But I want something that you kind of just like apply and then it's like deadly. If you want a very subtle highlight, get this. Like this is good. It's nice and subtle. It's not chunky or clumpy. Like the consistency is nice. It's just for a highlight, I would like something a little bit more. There's lots of good highlights on the market. I wouldn't recommend these. They're a little bit pricey too. I felt like all the colors kind of looked the same on the skin as well. They just did not sit well with me. However, I love Kylie Cosmetics so much. Her lip liners, like I'm always like, I'm wearing one right now in brown sugar. I love her eye palettes, but these just did not work for me so much so that I just completely passed on the blushes. I don't know if they're good or bad. You guys let me know, but I was just like, eh. that's why first impressions, they're good, but I feel like you need to use something for days or weeks or even months to get a full good impression. So when I was doing them, like I used one of these each day you guys watched like near the end of my review, I was like, oh yeah, my opinions were kind of shifting a little bit. Like, oh yeah, okay, maybe they weren't as good. And then when I used them for like two weeks, I was like, no. Okay, this, ah, uh, this has been in multiple favorites videos of mine and tutorials. I love this product. And it's in this video for a damn good reason. Tokyo Milk Dark Salted Caramel Lip Elixir. So amazing, it makes your lips so smooth and nice. It doesn't just kind of like give you like a glossy balm and then goes away, it actually nourishes, well it did to me, my lips. Beautiful, nice big packaging, I got this at Sephora. Guys, I've had this for so long, I still like, and it's not just me like in my nails, like nope, that, that's the worst packaging, like man. Who, hi, who? So I've tried to pop it this way, I've tried to twist it. it, it is insane. I always had to keep it open a little bit in my purse so that I could just easily do it, but like if my boyfriend used it or somebody else used it, I don't know, and then they would close it, I'd be like, great, now I can't get it open. And they'd be like, well, what, like why would you buy it? Because the product is amazing, but you, I can't, I'm not, I'm not even playing with you guys. Like, oh, there we go, I finally got it open, but that's how long it takes. Like, it is a struggle. You should just be able to like open your lip and put it on, you know? No. Nope. And I don't know if this is just my, oh, not happening. If something is that much of a struggle, I have broke nails trying to open this. So no, like fix your packaging. Your product is slaying the, no. Like put it in a stick form or even have like a little lip here where you can like pop it open, you know, but there's, there's nothing here. Next one really like, is a sad one for me. I asked for Christmas for my boyfriend. This is what I was like, oh my God, I really want this one and he got it for me. So that's why it kills me so much because it was a Christmas present. It's called the Urban Decay Full Spectrum Palette. I like the colors of it, but I feel like it is a little cheapy in my opinion. The names are amazing. There's a nice big mirror if you're taking this to travel, but the colors just didn't pop. I don't know if it was just me. So I would put them on my eyes and I was like, oh, okay, it's a very, very sheer. Um, like for instance, like I was using this one, Minx, and it's like a very, very deep, dark, um, like this. But then when you would put it on, do you see that? Like, and that's me pushing, like pushing really hard. Like you saw how pigmented it was there. Like it would go on on the brush really pigmented. Let's do another one. Let's do this bright yellow, right yellow. And that is, okay, just to give it a little bit, I'm gonna do two swatches here. Calavera, like this is such a beautiful yellow. And then when I would apply it, very, very patchy. So the colors are very nice. Like this color is so nice. That color was nice, but they were just extremely patchy. The darker colors were more patchy than the light ones. Let me do like, I didn't even do these dark ones. Let's do Delirious, a super deep purple. Nice and deep right here. Uh, let's go right here like so light. So when you would put that on, that's literally how it would look on my eyes. Like there was, I could see some of the color and then I could just see my eyelids peeking through like right here. And even though I would build it and pack it on, it wouldn't do it. Just, just, I don't think the quality was there for me, which makes me sad because I love Urban Decay. I have so many Urban Decay palettes and it makes me even more sad because my boyfriend's like, oh, how are you liking the palette? And I'm like, like, I don't want to tell him like, <laughs> <laughs> they were patchy on the eye. The colors just looked a little like dull on the eyes. Like they looked so vibrant in the packaging. And then when you put them on, it was kind of like muted and diluted. Okay, the last product that I have for you guys is 
a Kat Von D lipstick, which is like, oh. <gasps> Kat Von D is one of my favorite brand names. This one, it's not so much the lipstick. I have other lipsticks, the uh, studded, studded kiss, I think it's called. So I, it, ah! I'm a little bit on the fence with this one because I love the consistency. I honestly think it's just the color. This color didn't suit me at all, but it was just that like, what kind of color is this? I don't know, why did I buy it then? Like when you're buying stuff at Sephora, you can swatch it. You can try it on, you ask, like, you know what I mean? I think it's just me. Somebody out there might love this color. This is Coven. So the lipstick is nice and pigmented. Do you see that? It's like a unicorn-y purple, nice and pastel and beautiful. But when you put it on, it like almost instantly made my teeth look yellow. Now I don't have like pearly whites, but I don't have yellow teeth. Any makeup look I did with this color did not look good. Maybe it is just my skin tone. Maybe, I don't know, you need to be like super funky to wear this. I really like different makeup colors and looks, but this just is like, what even is this color? I think the reason why I regret buying this is because I could have spent that exact same money on a lipstick that I would use and in turn I spent the money on this lipstick which I won't use. I have other Studded Kiss lipsticks, some nude ones and pink ones and they're so nice. So it has nothing to do with the consistency or anything like that. It's like strictly the color like but then again like why would you buy it? Like you guys are probably like Okay guys, so those were all the products that I regret buying. You guys don't even know how many times I get asked to do these videos. I'm not sure why. I think because the beauty world isn't always just like, oh, I love this. It's so good. But I don't like to be like that hate ass, you know? But I always see the positive side because a lot of these brands I love. Actually, all of the brands I love. There's just some things about them that I'm like, e, and not all brands put out amazing products. Some brands will put out a product that you're like, Ugh. Why? I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I love you guys so much. Hope you have a beautiful day. If you've tried any of these products, let me know your comments and your feedback in the comments down below. Love you all. I'll talk to you guys all later. Oh. Bye guys.